Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the fraction two recurring decimal problem. Let's see a statement. Given two integers representing the numerator and the denominator of a fraction, return the fraction in string format. If the fractional part is repeating, enclose the repeating part in parentheses. Uh, let's see the examples. If this is one and two, we know it, we will get the zero point five. It not uh it done has the repeating part, so we just return the value. Um,、mm, and what about the two and the one? Uh, it um done even have the point. We just return this two. But if we use two to divide three, we will uh get the uh zero point six 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 six. So so we just are、uh, enclosing the repeated part, which is six in this case. So how to solve this problem? Basically, we just need to simulate the divide, a division. But、um, we need to take care of some、uh, cases. One is overflow,、um, because for simplicity, we will、uh, use the positive number to do this、uh, divide. So if we just get the absolute value of the these two integer, we may get the Uh, we may get an overflow error. So, uh, the simplest way is to convert the um into the long, long type. Um, once another thing is that, uh, how do we find the whether how do we check whether it is repeating? Well, uh, we may use a hash set, but in this case, we will not. We do not know where we should insert these parentheses, so we will use a hash map.、Uh, the key is the remainder. The value is the position in the result string. So let's solve it. So firstly,、uh, if the numerator, numerator, uh. Numerator equal to zero. We just return zero. This is the one edge case. Another that we will use a string builder to uh represent our result string builder. Okay. So uh we will first check if it's negative. So if the numerator less than zero and the Um, denominator, denominator greater than zero, or the numerator greater than zero, and the denominator less than zero. We uh append uh the negative uh a signal and uh, um okay. Then we will use、uh, we convert them to the long. So one is the divisor. Equal to the mass absolute value, we convert them to the long, and that will be the numerator. And、uh, this is the deviant, deviant absolute, and this is long, and this will be the denominator. Okay.、Uh, we will get the remainder. Remainder. We will use the、um, divisor. Uh, module deviant. Another edge case is if the remainder、um, equal to zero, but we will first、uh, append the divisor, divide the deviant. Okay. So if the remainder equal to zero, I will just return sp two string. Um, just like this case, we will not have the point. But if not the point, we need to.、Um, if not the case, we need to append the point. Okay, then we do the loop while the remainder not equal to zero. And as I said, we need a hash map. The key will be the long, which is the remainder, and the value will be the integer with the position in the、um, string builder map. New hash map. So if if we already see、uh, this remainder before, which means it is repeating. If the map、uh, contains key remainder, 
uh, if it contains, we will uh, insert insert uh, which is the uh, the position should be map uh, get the remainder remainder uh, we insert the uh, open parentheses and we append the closing parentheses in the end and then we break we break finally we just return this sb2 string but if not the case, we haven't seen it before, we will first append this value that will, um, no, we will first put this into our map. That will be the remainder. And the position should be um, the end of the current string builder. So that will be string builder dot length. And then we will uh, let the remainder times uh, 10. Why? Because we will continue to divide the deviant so we should uh, um, uh, let it uh, times 10 otherwise we will not get an uh, integer so we will now we will append the reminder divide the deviant deviant and then we will uh, update the remainder remainder equal to module deviant Okay, I think I finished it. Um, cannot, oh, sorry. Deviant, deviant. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.